So let's start our first VCL application using C++. So we're going to file new and we're going to use VCL forms application for C++ builder. Now as you create your project, you'll see the project manager now has a new unit in here and we have the, the project header files and we also have here the, the unit which is C++ unit plus the header for the unit and the form. They're the three elements that we have. So let's go ahead and add a button using the tool palette onto the form, an edit control, and a list box. And what we're going to do is we're going to just drag these controls around just to build our UI. And then using the button one, we're going to go ahead and just change the caption to add me. And we're then going to double click on the button and that will go ahead and implement the event for the button on click. So when we talk about events for the button here, if we switch to the events tab, we can see there's a whole host of events. The default for a button is on click. And as you scroll down, there's a whole load of other ones. So you could literally just double click on here to add the additional ones if you want those. But let's just go back to the add and what we're going to do is we're going to add the contents of the edit control into the list box. Now the great thing using the IDE here is if we start typing the name of the list box we can see it comes up within the code completion uh, which you can invoke just by pushing control and space together and then we can look through the properties of the list box so there's an items property that we're going to hit use here and we're then going to add one of the methods there and this requests a unicode string which we're going to pass in edit one text now that's great we've now got our value from the edit box going into the list box from the edit control into the list box so what i want to do is i'm just going to put a check in here first off so we're just going to type if as we hit space here we can see it's automatically created us the space for an if statement so we're going to just check to see if the edit one text value, if it's equal to, which uses the double equals, and then just two quotes, which is nothing. I'm then going to tell to return, which will just exit out of this method. So if we have a value and we've now got down to here, I can, I'd like to now just clear the edit control. And this will just make it easier for typing a new value in uh, next time through. So I'm just going to make that equal to an empty string. OK, so let's run our project. And we now have our compiled run project. Um, we click Add Me, and we can see that's adding in. Um, let's just try adding a few other bits in. We can see that's going on OK. And if I just try and hit Add, nothing's going in and we don't end up with any blank lines. So that's all working great. Um, now what we can do, if we actually want to see what's happening in the code as we're doing it, we can select a breakpoint in the code here. We can run with debugging. And what you'll notice now is as we click the button, the event then fires and we step into the event. We can put the mouse over, we can see what the value is coming in. And we can add a watch to the, the watches here. So I have uh, edit one text um, in here twice now, but we can we can add a, a watch in. And as we step through, we can see that value updating even before we've returned back because of what's executing behind the scenes here. Now, finally, um, with our first project, Let's make it a 64-bit application now just by adding the 64-bit Windows target and just rerunning the application. And now we have a 64-bit version of our same application running.